Dzień dobry Państwu, ja nazywam się Agnieszka Bulustrando i zapraszam Państwa na wywiad w Biznes Info TV. Dzisiaj będzie to wywiad nietypowy, ponieważ nie w naszym studiu, a w budynku Warso Tower na 43 piętrze. Razem z nami jest pan Peter Pecnik, country CEO Poland firmy Haberawis, która odpowiada za ten budynek. Dzień dobry panu. Dzień dobry. Zaczniemy może od wysokości. Budynek ma się stać najwyższym w Unii Europejskiej. Skąd wziął się pomysł, żeby mierzyć aż tak wysoko? Uh, we have started the idea of this building from the ground floor. Uh, it has been a long uh, forgotten place in the center of Warsaw. And uh, when we acquired that, we knew that this location uh, in the city center of Warsaw deserves something uh, unique. Uh, so we were thinking together also with the city and our partners, architects, uh, that it should be some kind of landmark. And uh, we created uh, the complex, Warsaw Place, which is not only uh, offices, it's a bit multifunctional. Uh, although offices, our workplaces are the main, main function, we have uh, here uh, in the middle uh, building, we have the lifestyle hotel, we have uh, the fitness center, we have the uh, innovation hub, uh, and we have obviously Warsaw Tower where we are uh, currently doing this uh, interview. Uh, and this, this, this really is not about the, being the, the highest, but being the, being the special project for this location, this central location of Warsaw. Mówi pan o wysokości. Co poza tą wysokością, multifunkcjonalnością sprawia, że projekt jest wyjątkowy? Uh, the, the size. The size is uh, probably one, uh, one of the biggest uh, complex uh, definitely in Central Europe, if not in Europe. It's 145,000 square meters of the leasable space, as I already mentioned, uh, the multifunctionality. It's also transport connection, which is, uh, which is uh, so unique. It is uh, going to be connected with the central railway station, which is uh, just uh, uh, basically a, a step uh, from, from our side. It is in, on, on the big crossroad uh, in, the, in the center of Warsaw. Uh, if you imagine that uh, it will host uh, uh, approximately uh, 12,000 uh, employees which will work in all three buildings, it will also serve the function of, as I mentioned, uh, the, the hotel. So people will be also sleeping here, which means that the project will be utilized also during the night, not only during the day. It also serves as a, there is a, also a medical center, there is also a, also a fitness center. Uh, so it will also serve uh, people. On the ground floor uh, there will be a big retail place uh, with, uh, with uh, services and uh, offer for the, for the visitors of the building, users of the building, but also of the neighborhood uh, of, of the project. Then if we go up, uh, we, will, uh, we will have here the, the viewing platform at the top, which will be publicly accessible. So. Uh, we are open to, to also wide public. We will ho ho have also the, the highest restaurant uh, in Warsaw uh, on the 50th floor, basically. So you will have a look at, uh, at, at Warsaw even better than we have now. Uh, so we are, we are creating a project which is, which is open to, uh, to the city. And obviously also we'll have uh, its tenants and we believe that it will be uh, really a landmark which we have uh, in our heads from the beginning. Porozmawiajmy może o samym etapie budowy. Na etapie budowy już były wdrożone najnowsze technologie. Między innymi na Państwa stronie informowali Państwo, że do budowy wind wykorzystywane były roboty. Jakie jeszcze technologie były wykorzystywane na etapie budowy, a jakie pojawią się już w budynku? A couple of unique features which we had here uh, were the uh, modular bathrooms, which were uh, basically uh, were produced off-site uh, in the northeast uh, part of uh, Poland, which were transported here into the hotel. Above 300 uh, such modular uh, bathrooms were uh, installed 
basically in the in the hotel, in the in the lifestyle hotel Nix, which will be opened in the middle building. Then uh, you can see it from the outside that uh, we have the highest uh, cranes or the cranes with the highest uh, uh, reach in Warsaw. They uh, have a different shape than uh, than those T shape, but but this shape. Uh, so they they can they can reach up to 310 uh, meters, which is the the top of of the tower. So we we then put uh, on the one of our buildings the 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 crane on the on the on the roof when we were finishing the Warsaw Warsaw 2. So we used a couple of uh, innovative features uh, during the during the construction of this uh, of this complex. When you were asking about what will be so special uh, in the in the complex as such, obviously we can uh, probably start from the what is now uh, being discussed uh, among our customers and among the, among the users of the office buildings, various technologies which are also kind of anti-COVID. So. Uh, uh, touchless uh, entrance in, uh, into the building uh, with with uh, code on your on your mobile, uh, calling the wind uh, the calling the the lift by uh, without touching touching anything, uh, going going through the turnstiles uh, without touching anything, invitation to the to the users uh, sent uh, via QR code. So the, this this sort of uh, these sort of things uh, starting from. Then if we continue, uh, we were working uh, about the comfort of the, of the users. Uh, so the, the HVAC technology is uh, up to the highest standard, so people can regulate their comfort uh, quite individually, or the building is ready to do that. Uh, individually, they can, they, can, uh, they can control the temperature, uh, they can control the, the light. Uh, the, the light will also react to the period of the day uh, uh, when, when they are when they are working. Uh, continuing, we will have also some uh, some of the features of our of our Symbiosi product. Symbiosi are our, 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 uh, technology, which is also helping users to control how the how the building uh, is operating but also symbiosis also collects the data how the how, how people are utilizing the the building and they can help the interpretation uh, to the to the employers or to the managers how they operate their uh, their space so the, this uh, uh, to mention Wspomnieliśmy o najemcach. Dwie wieże Warsaw Place są praktycznie już całkowicie wynajęte. A co z główną wieżą Warsaw Tower? Jak to wygląda w jej przypadku z najemcami? Na jakie bonusy czy też udogodnienia mogą liczyć? Ok, uh, you have very good information about the Warsaw 1, Warsaw 2, which are practically occupied. Um, I think there is one floor which we are discussing with the tenant, but otherwise uh, two smaller smaller towers are fully occupied and we are in discussion with uh, the tenants for the tower. Uh, obviously the, the, the COVID situation has uh, complicated the, the ability to, to meet and to show to the clients but I think uh, after summer we are, we are coming back to uh, the kind of normal space of uh, leasing. And we are with some some of the tenants. We are in quite advanced uh, discussions. They are obviously quite impressed by the uh, when they are coming to to the to the to Warsaw Tower, what they see of the facade, uh, of the viewing, uh, and of the technology which will be implemented in the uh, in the building. A jakie są państwa dalsze plany w Polsce i całym regionie CE? Czy pandemia znacząco co je zmieniła? Uh, Maybe to start from, uh, yes, COVID was obviously uh, a bit shock, probably not only for, for us, but also for the, for the whole market. Our priority was to, uh, to keep safe our employees uh, and our partners as well, but, but at the same time also to continue the building. So uh, this, was, this was our priority during the, when, the, when the COVID uh, pandemic uh, started uh, in spring. Uh, 
when when it comes to our plans, uh, we are workplace specialist, uh, and we are going to stick to this strategy in uh, both in Poland and and CEE. Uh, we are uh, we are currently working on uh, still quite robust uh, projects in uh, Warsaw. This is this building, Warsaw Tower, as well as uh, Project Forest, uh, which is which is oriented. Uh, um, as green and campus style uh, workplaces uh, close to uh, Galeria Arcadia. Uh, so we have still under development 150,000 square meters jointly, which is, which is still robust development pipeline, uh, definitely the biggest uh, out of our countries. Uh, and when it comes to our plans, uh, we strongly believe that there will, uh, that first of all, we are looking at a couple of opportunities, but also that there might be opportunities which this uh, crisis, if I can call it like that, uh, will bring. So uh, we are we are uh, monitoring the we are monitoring the market, and uh, we are ready to acquire obviously something which fits uh, to our strategy, meaning location also where we can build something uh, meaningful. We are not so much interested in very small projects. Our specialty is to build uh, something bigger. Whether we will build another Warsaw, probably not, but I mean, we are, we are looking at something, something really meaningful and uh, which will be also uh, slightly changing the shape of the city. W takim razie teraz pytanie o Pana subiektywne odczucia. Jakie Pana zdaniem jest największy atut budynku, w którym się znajdujemy? Uh, I would say, and, and I would repeat what I already said, that the, the, the size of it. I mean, you have a, a big variety, uh, you have very good uh, transportation access to, to, to here, because of the location where we are. Uh, you really will find here most of the services you need for uh, for your daily business. Uh, you will uh, you will feel here a, 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 a big comfort as a user in all all, all three buildings because the building is also uh, um, uh, environmentally sustainable as well as well pre-certified pre because our strategy is to focus on the user. So. We are. We were taking care that the users, not only the traditional daily users, but also the the visitors of the building, will feel yeah, feel here some kind of a human touch and and thinking about them. To teraz ważne pytanie: na kiedy planują państwo rozpoczęcie działalności głównej wieży Warsaw Tower? Uh, we plan to uh, open a Warsaw Tower in 2022 in the first half. Jaka, jakie Pana zdaniem są prognozy dla sektora, e, ogólnie dla sektora nieruchomości, dla sektora biurowego? Czy będzie jakieś spowolnienie, czy jednak będziemy szli normalnym trybem? E, na które sektory może pandemia wpłynie najbardziej, a które w ogóle tego nie odczują? Uh, we feel to be experts on the on part of the property market and this is this is offices or workplaces so um, i will not comment on uh, on residential uh, or, or on other other segments of the market but on the offices obviously we went went through the big shock uh, in spring when uh, probably 80% of the employees were sitting at home and we were locked and we were using teams skype and other other means of communication uh, and uh, after some time we realized that this is probably not uh, something which we uh, which we want both employees and employers realize that uh, okay you, you you can do part of the job uh, remotely but uh, you still need to socialize you need to uh, communicate you need to interact with other people and uh, the, the the home and and the teams and technology is not the the best tool to do that and to create. Uh, we strongly believe that the people will come back to the offices. This is already happening uh, because uh, because uh, functional team needs to interact uh, and uh, office market will will grow. Whether the, some, some of the people will uh, stay and uh, work from home, yes, that's true. Whether the work from home will be, uh, let's say, more widely spread, probably yes. 
but we strongly believe that the people will uh, be using offices, maybe in a slightly different f uh, function, meaning creating, interacting, uh, communicating, uh, team building, uh, because this is hardly possible uh, to do remotely. So in other words, the job market uh, will dictate how offices will evolve, but obviously we are very optimistic that the office market, uh, not only in Warsaw, but in other places as well, uh, will come back to normal. Życzę zatem powodzenia w budowie dalszego optymizmu e, i dziękuję bardzo za wywiad. E, dziękuję. Naszym gościem był pan Peter Petnik, country CEO Haberavis w Polsce z 43. piętra Warso Tower. Dziękuję Państwu za uwagę i zapraszam do kolejnych wywiadów.